want to fly high. Somebody kill me. What's up, VOD people? We're back. It's the Sonic Adventure finale, or at least it better be. It better be that. Also, my face is shaved. I this I already covered this kind of in the blicket that happened before this. Cage dogs trivia. It was it was a good time. Um so here's the story. Basically, I you know, anytime I'm gonna go see my girlfriend, I wanna look nice, I wanna be presentable, so I usually just get my beard a little trim, you know, definitely get the neck. And then trim this down, get get all the uh, the errant, you know, hippie hairs away. Get them get them out of there. Um, so I was shaving with my electric razor, but when I was you know uh, getting the hair out of the out of the guard, I put it back on, and I don't know what happened, but I think the setting on the dial on the on the razor, on the shaver, it shifted back to its lowest setting. So I go right here just to clean up a bit more, and it just takes a chunk right out it was like a reverse soul patch it was all beard and then this was gone so i was like fuck <laughs> so that's that's all gotta go um so that that's really all it was and uh you know i tried to keep it like still a moderate length but the more and more i went the worse it looked so i was like all right it's just basically all gotta go um so that's it was it's the risk you run when you're shaving sometimes if you're an idiot I don't know how the dial got messed up. I had it on like three or four, but it got shifted over to ten, which is like barely any guard on it at all. Um, so that's that's why this happened. It was not planned, um, but it'll be back in like a month, you know? Yeah, the razor stole my beard. What can you do? Um, all right, we've been through five Rip Roaring campaigns, but now it's time to uh, become robot. Station Square Become Robot, 2018 from, uh, Quantic Dreams? Is that who made Detroit Become Human? Yeah, honestly, it was a soulless patch. <laughs> there was very little soul there. Um, it was very, uh, non-theistic. Full power, so they just reused the battle quote. Cool. Was that the entire appeal? That can't be, because... My older videos, I don't have the beard. I'm your brilliant creator, That's Dr. true. Robotnik. What a throwback, Rude Man, sir. Um. Oh, wow. This is like my birth. This is like Fallout 3, when you like hear the sound of the placenta. Except I'm a robot this time. And my mom's not dead. Sorry, spoilers for the first minute of Fallout 3. Gamma. Gamma. And I don't know why, but Gamma was always my favorite as a kid. I liked his theme song that's playing right now. I liked his gameplay, even though it's probably not going to age great, as we'll see right now. Let me boost that up a bit. Um, I thought his story was actually pretty touching. I like how I'm brothers with Metal Sonic. Um, and... Uh, I like how I have a laser on my head. Sorry, sorry, Snarling Apollo. Probably, yeah, probably the first and last. Whoa, Gamma! Um, where's James? Just James? <laughs> I'm already... Oh, hi, never mind. <laughs> the shooting range is through this door. Oh, I gotta... Your big See? Brother, it's just like B1 Fallout 3. You gotta, you gotta shoot the Rad Roaches with your BB gun. Enter, At a fucking shooting range in the first ten minutes of the game. Easy, do fine. It's probably like the first twenty minutes. That that intro really drags, actually. Final egg. I also love how the first stage is final egg. It looks a little floaty. Destroy the Sonic destroy doll in quotes. Can I also destroy the his destroy friends' the dolls? And Sonic and Co. dolls. Whoa. I mean, what's life if you're not picking apart Tails and Knuckles dolls? Die! My name's Gamma, I don't chuckle. Beep, 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 beep. Um... Granite. Full metal jacket. What's up, Logic? I mean, yeah, Gamma is not not wearing a full metal jacket. Also, he has a little crotch plate, which I think is an admirable and brave fashion choice. Um... <laughs> Gamma learns to say nar instead of no. <laughs> Alright. 
Gamma! Have you destroyed the quote-unquote Sonic doll? Nar. What? What did you just say? Nar, Dr. Eggman. I have not destroyed the quote-unquote Sonic doll. Nar, negatory. The opposite of affirmative. Nar. Why, why are you saying Nar? You, you, <laughs> you were not developed in Australia. You should be saying no. Stop being so upside down. I apologize. But listen, even robots, their their robotic metallic soul drifts towards Nar. It's just simply more fun to say. It may be upside down, but it's it's better than no. Nards. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Eggman's got Nards. There's a reference. I'm not doing this again, am I? Oh yeah. Hold down the button. My laser goes blue. We all blue now. That's my attack. Yeah, the laser goes from red to purple, pink to blue. Head downstairs. Thank you, James. Not there, though. Hi, Eggman. Good job, Gamma. Thanks. I didn't think you had what it takes. Gamma. Shoot them in the fucking face. I can't really do an Eggman. Okay, then, Gamma. Okay, then, Gamma. If you want to stay on board, you must be able to pass it. So pay attention to what I say. <laughs> to pass it. I hope it's not a kidney stone. That would be really difficult. God, oh <laughs> Eggman's pants just really quit. Yeah, true. Why would he build a robot that needs to, like, prove himself? Just build it with confidence. A beta male. <laughs> oh yeah, you fight like eight robots. <laughs> Gamma, I thought you was some shit. That's not part of his of his directive to suck shit. I hope not. Eggman is a sadistic fuck. Uh oh, I gotta fight my beta brother. <laughs> T Mac, do you know about crossing the finish line? Are you are you aware of what happened while you weren't here? Were you filled in on it? That's it. I was I was no brain. <laughs> I was no brain on that. t -back, the the cage hurdle for today was crossing the finish line. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Um, for those of you that didn't watch the Blook It, I was saying that in the Patreon game night, t -Mac was um, playing Cage Scriblio, and his term that he had to draw twice in a row was crossing the finish line. Oh, there you go. I hereby grant Gamma permission to serve on board the Egg Carrier. You know, when you think about an egg carrier, with us, eh? one who carries eggs, that's really beautiful, actually. Okay, that, okay. That's that's a vessel for life. It's kind of the, the, the sort of deep dichotomy religion. that Sonic Adventure sets up, in that Eggman's trying to destroy things, you know, blow up Station Square and shoot the moon or whatever, with his vessel called the Egg Carrier, which really should be... Sort of a, literally a vehicle for giving life. We all come from the egg carrier when you think, yeah. We were all born in the chow garden that is the egg carrier. Or, you know, it's a carton for eggs. Well, if it was called the egg carton, I'd actually love that even more. Sonic is very deep. I guess a chicken is also, I mean, really any, any egg-laying creature would be an egg carrier, yeah. But I guess also, I mean, we, you know, we don't lay eggs, but humans can be egg carriers, so that's... You know, not the perfect, uh, descriptor. Yo, know, Power Rangers looking, looking rat as hell. The Wiggles, back on tour. I hope Yuffie assassinates him. Aha! Uh -huh. Testing! Testing! One, two, three. Two, three. <clears throat> you, the Elite Egg Carrier crew, are here today. So wait, where's Beta? Is he done? To hear a very special or isn't he the final boss again? Yeah, multicolored people teams is so good. You got Power Rangers. You got these guys. The big two. Um, I feel like Captain Planet crew has that going on. Ninja Turtles, yep. The Wiggles, yes. The Afternoon Wiggles. Fruit Salad, yummy yummy. Are we not standing in the right order? That is so annoying. 
Oh, that's so annoying. Sonic, you can't even... Ugh. It was like 104, 102, 103. That's, that pisses me off. Castle Crashers. There's Cream the Rabbit. You gotta have Cream the Rabbit. So, what? Twinkle Park? Guess not. Emerald Coast. Thanks, James. Can I destroy the cars? Cringe. Also, yeah, I love how he gets low. <laughs> I love how Gamma gets low. <laughs> Skates around Station Square. Right, now I want to play Disney Skate Adventure again. What's up, T-Call? There you go. I guess if I went to T-Call, I could have used my intuition there. Hello. You're looking for uh, Mr. Frog? I'm afraid that I don't see anyone with that name staying at the hotel. I like how he just earnestly interacts with me as a robot. You know, there's still hope. My company is on strike, so I can't go to work. Hee hee! Michael Jackson? <laughs> what are you doing in Sonic Adventure 1? Ooh, I like how he hovers over water. That's, that's actually a really cute attention to detail. Of course, he shouldn't touch the water. It's bad for him. That's great. I like that. Oh. Destruction. Wow, I just walked through the... Uh, okay, cool. Oh, that's right. He did, didn't he? That was a conscious, con conscious reference to Michael Jackson right there. Alright. Time to be the smoothest criminal and shoot these harmless robot monkeys. And then what? Every stage ends with me killing one of my brothers? Is that the idea? Yeah. So, seven, eight-year-old me loved this because it's just like constant fucking noise. Just constant noise, beeping, and explosions, and colors. Right up my alley. Die. I'm not getting good combos. I know someone told me to hold it down, but I'm doing the opposite. Oh, wait. Okay. I had no idea that was the end of the level. Yeah, the beeping's not good. If you gotta make it so that I'm not beeping in your ear, that's fine. I got Froggy. I don't know how I'm holding him. I feel like my hand is right in his tail. Noises and colors. Ooh, yeah, I think at the end of the day, as smooth brain as it may be, I think I put that above thinking in puzzles. Um, I wish I could say that I'm better than that, but Must I'm really not. Location. Let's determine location. I wish I could do that fucking robot voice, like that Microsoft Sam ass voice, but I can't. Must determine location. Yeah, it's tough. Accessing oh. data. Okay. Pew. That's a great noise, though. I love that. That's a, a good a good pew pew. No data found. Location unknown. Cool. This presents a problem. Let's think while inhaling. <laughs> that did not work. <laughs> that was not robotic. That was that was terrifying. This presents a, a problem. <laughs> not only does it not sound good, it feels Mode awful. Change. Mode change. Mode change. Mode change. Not good. Takes practice, yeah. Ooh. You want to swap out here? I trade you incessant beeping, and you receive... Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom. Is that better, Buffoon? Do you like that? Oh, thank you, Moon. I knew I was forgetting something. I guess it's an improvement? Yeah. Extreme Noise Makeover. Chow Edition. Exterminate! Exterminate! Get closer. Initiating get closer protocol. <laughs> step on the map of spite. I'm I step sorry. on them for a sprite, actually. So. Them, huh? Initiating ignore protocol. Initiate Did you damn didn't ask creature? protocol. He's a very loving and gentle creature. <laughs> Gamma, shoot her in the face! Actually, what is this? James, or any any Sonic experts? Am I just... I'm not 
Have I physically traveled to the past for these? Or am I seeing this as a vision? Or something... Is it a, option C? Secret third thing? A secret gamma thing, even? Gamma, get the rocket! <laughs> I can't believe this! <laughs> Damn, bitch, you live like this. <laughs> Gamma's just way rude. Not clarified? Okay. I guess that's part of the magic, you know? I get the impression that we are actually time-traveling. This frog's the one we want. Because how would Gamma have a hallucination? My frog is the right one. Oh wait, they're actually- they speak? My frog is the right one. I guess Gamma was speaking, but that was like much more cartoony and less like robotic. I like how they all abducted different vividly ah, colored dummies, frogs. Dummies, dummies, dummies. <laughs> You're the dummy! You made bad frog catching robots. Like it's your fault. <laughs> My brother and egg, you made the bot. It's your fault. <laughs> Yo. Real shit. Destroy the others for their incompetence. Break them down for scrap. Augment them into me. Oh. He kind of does, though? <laughs> Goodbye, Epsilon. <laughs> I don't know which one that was. You will get the new um, this one's easy. What happened to them? Wait, I still have to fight them later. Go to the Ew, he's, he's holding it with his pit. Delta, my bad. God, is that my fucking entire life's purpose, is to capture small animals? A lazy Susan. There's a really good, I don't know if it's like a tweet or a Tumblr post is about like, the, one? the origin of the term lazy Susan. Like whoever invented it had like a relative or a, a partner named Susan. <laughs> they just really didn't like. Like, I don't know what the, the reasoning behind the the term Lazy Susan is, but it surely must be amusing. Oh yeah, this is like a traumatic scene for Gamma, isn't it? I better make fart jokes over it. It's not even fart jokes, it's just noises. Um, Lazy Susan didn't come from Gravity Falls. Uh, the only Gravity Falls character I know, Buffoon, is I think the girl is Ma Mabel? Or is it Maple? That was the one that I got in that Sporkle quiz that I sent you. Mabel. Um, anyway, yeah, that was, that was trauma. I'm imbued with robot trauma. Marble. This is the wrong room. <laughs> Let's go back in. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do, James. Ready? We're gonna step on this button. Just kidding. That's not the way. It's in here. The jail cell. I know where that is. I don't. Oh, I do. <laughs> I've only done one proper level, unless you count Final Egg. Walking, walking, stepping on the beat, do 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 do. <laughs> Amy located. Walking on. Initiating bop bop buy up buy up Give protocol. Fine! No <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Give me the bird. Give me the bird. You asked for it! No. Why not? None of your business, why not? I wanna know she doesn't want him to know that she killed the bird a long time ago. That bird is not moving. You don't even know? 
and love bloom even on a battlefield. <laughs> I agree, she, she should say fuck. Um, of course it's added to the hair baggie. Yeah, if you put it, I don't know if you knew this, but if you put your beard hair in a little baggie underneath your pillow, you're guaranteed a snow day the next day. Um, that's like a time-honored tradition. Doesn't matter what month it is, you know? Have you heard about the word, Amy? Yeah, that was actually the first time regular GF saw me in person with the beard gone. So it took, she was like, oh. <laughs> she didn't dislike it, but it took, she is like not used to it, you know? She says it's refreshing to be able to actually see my chin, you know, my jawline. But she likes to be able to, <laughs> to scratch it. And uh, she was, I think, a little sad that she wasn't able to feel the beard. But... The last time I had shaved like this, it was New Year's 2021 into 22. So we started dating that April. Um, we're going back to the Mystic Ruins. No, I'm better at finding frogs. That is the one defining factor. I am not a person. She misspecied me, that bitch. Destroy. Well, okay. I was briefly in first person or something. All right, James. We going. We going back to. Never mind. Damn, he knows how to count. That's nuts. Thanks for fighting, struggling for your life against the uh, background music to get that information. All right. One of the side doors. <laughs> You're one of the good ones. Wow, Amy. Really? It's 2003. That is so fucked. I hope it's not the one. That's the Chow Garden, the one that's where you spell it, right? So, what? are you the ammunition room? This looks like ammunition. Gimme. Oh, it's uh, it's Here's a little the jet booster. Ooh, Press remember those? Remember those big fat frisbees? But they were like, they were like these foily, kind of like inflated guys. You know what I'm talking about? They were like UFO shaped things, but they were like foily. They were like, you know what I'm talking about, owls? They were like. Like, I grew up with it, so it was like, you know, early to mid-2000s. What the fuck? Was there like a name for those? Or were they just like... I'm gonna call them like a moon frisbee, that's my guess. Um, what's up, Vodka? <laughs> oh yeah, you're back to the... Uh, <laughs> I already gave my shaved beard story, but... Long story short, I fucked up. It, had, it all had to go. Um, it didn't make a funny noise. Um, it was like yay big. It was like, oh, gotta get both my hands in the, you know, it was like that. Um, and it was foily. Also, hi Frosty. Thank you for the 37 months. Also, hello to uh, Oathkeeper and uh, thank you 8-Bit Nuke for the follow. Thank you. Um, yeah, man broke into my house. Typical man. And uh, ripped my beard hair off. Um, I'm sorry, I was so focused on the UFO toy that I did not pick up on what my new upgrade does. Can I get the Spark notes on my new tool. I see you got the jet booster. The jet booster. Report to the can I just I can hover? Okay. Hurry. Head to the ass of the ship. Let's do it. Where is that? I'm not programmed to know where the ass of the ship is. Bam, bam. Maybe oh I'm stuck! Never mind, that was calculated. Um, bad news, last stream I said Shoban was in was in first after the short program. Well, I guess I'll go fuck myself because he got fourth. No medal, I'm crying. I'm guessing he's in the kiss and cry and he's doing the ladder. 
Is that what's going on with Shoma? Can I serve you, Dr. Robot Mate? I want an, an iced latte. Ooh, that was a great eradicate. Aye, aye, sir. I will come Why are we doing... Why are we doing pirate talk? Okay. I'll just shoot all three. And the bird. My bloodlust knows no bounds. Oh, okay, it's just Sonic. It'd be so funny if it played Open Your Heart right here. God, it's just such a nothing. Okay. Eat lead, bitch. It's like, well, I have a gun, and your main attack is throwing your body at my face, so... I'll just stay over here, where you can't do that. Mr. Robot? That's not Rami Malik. God, I love Mr. Robot. I was thinking about my top 10 favorite TV shows, and I'm not a big TV guy. But I gotta put Mr. Robot in the top 5. Maybe even top 3. That's Dr. Robot. Dr. Professor Robot. Listen, anytime I get to talk about Mr. Robot, I'll do it. You know? I might have made that joke like a week ago. Amy! But before that, it was probably at least a year. Oh, I really don't get this. <laughs> ah. Can Hedgehog and Robot really be friend? Sonic, look! The egg carrier's losing altitude! Um, I searched regular Pat on Reddit and saw some good cage appreciation posts from people. I thought Reddit didn't like me. I've seen a couple of comments in, uh, my day where people are either being nice or rude about me. Um, I've been linked a few things. What's up, Scrap? I love Scrap. Um... I'm here for the scraps! Danny DeVito's favorite cat. Um... Well, it's good to know that uh, Reddit likes me, because back when I posted my videos on Reddit, they didn't seem to care about me at all. Uh, back when I... had less than a thousand subscribers. They didn't give a shit about me. Um, you remember the bad ones. Everyone lists you as uh, recommended for honest commentary and not over-the-top YouTube stuff. Listen, if there's one thing I'm not, it's over the top. I'm pretty much, I'm like under the, the middle, really. That's kind of where my energy levels lie. Right now, like, you know, I don't know if I've ever been like at a 10 in content, but I'm probably on like the upper half right now because I got a drink in me. Um, and that's probably evident. But... Yeah, I guess that's probably true. But, like, where else are you supposed to post it? Like, I honest to God, it's a miracle. Like, I don't know. It's just because the YouTube algorithm picked me up. Like, there's nowhere that you can really genuinely, you know, and productively post your stuff, with, you know, without people being dicks or without you. God, you're going to get, like, two views on it, you know? Enemy. Like, I'd post, that's back in the day, I'd post on Reddit and KH13. Um, Cage 13 people were a lot nicer. Um, but even then, sometimes I, you know, I'd post it, and it would just sit on the main forum page for, like, days, and nobody would interact with it. If you have the stone um, of wind, gusts of the stone of wind. The Isn't that kept near Tail's house? Mode change. Mode change. Um, a few posts from people saying, this guy regular Pat has 300 subscribers, he deserves more. <laughs> oh, from, like, three years ago. That is neat. Wow. Um, uh, look at that. I, I remembered. Windstone, up here. Beep, beep, I'm a car. Regular Pat really deserves more. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, I tend to remember and internalize the negative. Um. Yeah, no, I mean... I don't know. I... I think I could have just not posted anything ever on Reddit and Cage 13, and I probably would have, you know still be in the same place because it was just YouTube deciding to show me to a bunch of people one day, you know? Um, like, without, before the big algorithm boost, I think I was able to build myself up to like 600 something maybe through, oh, get Tarzan through Reddit and Cage13. Um, out of all the magic in days, which one would I want IRL? 
I mean, cure would be would be great, you know. Um, I'd mostly use it on like my dogs. I guess like other you know people that are hurt. I guess as well, but I think practically I could do the most good with cure. Um, so. Oh, yeah. I posted on the gallbladder subreddit because I wanted to share my story so people could feel comfortable. Because my so my thing with the gallbladder was that I was so nervous and doom scrolly. Yeah, this so the R slash gallbladders. Thank you, Frosty. Yeah, Frosty Reddit. Um, and I still honestly like I think even a few months ago. So I got my gallbladder out October of last year. Um, or no, October of 2022. Yeah. Um, and, like, I, I want to say, like, sometime in, like, maybe November, someone uh, either DM'd me or replied to the post. So, like, people still find it and reach out to me about it. Um, but my thing was, like, I was so nervous about it. And I was doom scrolling and reading about, like, what it was like and, like, people's, you know, prep like, preparation before it. But, like, n nothing felt, like, comforting to me. And, like, nothing was specific enough. Like, it was all very short and vague. So I, I wrote, like, a very long write-up on my experience. Both, you know, pre, during, and after. Fuck! Not pre, during, and after. Fuck. That's not... You don't put that on gallbladders. Um, pre, during, and after my surgery. Um, it's, like, probably longer than some of my YouTube videos in terms of the word count. Um, if I were to record it, it'd, it'd probably take me at least 10 minutes to read. Um, you know, I talked about, like, my symptoms and, you know, what I was eating beforehand and what I couldn't eat and how I felt afterwards and how long it took for me to feel better. Um, because I just wanted that kind of post for me. And then, uh, yeah, I, I still get people reaching out to me being like, hey, thanks for, thanks for writing in such great depth about your gallbladder. And it's very, uh, maybe even TMI at some points. You know, I talk about bowel movements. But listen, it's all medical, baby. We ain't nothing but mammals. Thanks for linking that, uh, Frosty. Yeah, if you want to read the gallbladder post. I don't know why, you know, unless you have gallbladder concerns, it's probably not that thrilling of a read, but it kept my mind off of the after surgery pain and discomfort to uh, write that because i wrote that like within 24 hours of getting the surgery i think boom um thanks frosty yeah i tried to make it funny because i feel like if you're reading something like that you could probably use a laugh all right um mode change let's go into the cliff hole cliff hole cliff hole Gelation! This is going to be the last time we hear Gelation, which did not make it into my top 100 video game tracks, which I did post for the patrons. Um, and then as soon as I was done making that list, I listened to Color Your Night from Persona 3 Reload, and that track belongs in there for sure. So I kicked out Rico Harbor from Mario Sunshine, <laughs> and I put in Color Your Night, because what a fucking great song. Gelations in the final campaign? Oh, I had no idea. I thought it was all Station Square. Die. He was just doing his job. Um, am I the asshole for lying to everyone about gallbladder surgery so they'll watch my Kingdom Hearts videos? I don't think I saw an uptick in uh, in viewership because of my surgery. Um, I don't. I feel like most. I, I would say two percent of my audience at most knew that I got my gallbladder out. Like, of the 49,000-ish uh, uh, YouTube subscribers, surely less than a thousand of them know that I am sans gallbladder. And not like an Undertale skeleton, like without an organ. Sans' last name is not gallbladder. After waking up from my longest nap so far- oh, this is from me. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is an excerpt from my gallbladder post from- a year and a half ago. After waking up from my longest nap so far, I was laying on my left side, and I, unle and I unleashed just a magnificent opera of a fart, complete with an overture, complex plot twists, and a permeating theme about the woes of class and wealth disparity. 
Kings were born, rose to power, and died during the duration of this fart. I would have framed it if I could. It's like a top 10 moment for me. Sorry, I just laughed at my own my own bullshit. <laughs> that's that's very cringe of me, but I kind of like you know I don't really remember what the post. Is. That's that's good stuff. That's a good uh, that's a good bit. Um, it was right there. That's where it happened. Right there is where it happened. If you need <laughs> if you need to uh, you know get the location, if that helps paint the word picture. Um, what <laughs> is is that? What I'm doing right now? Splash. Listen, I'm fine with that. I feel like I'm in good company. Oh! Well, get fucking hammered, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I'm honestly, that was... I'm not really exaggerating. It was the longest fart of my life. Um, <laughs> yeah, I did part of this. Wait, is that the one? Is that the 2001 Space Odyssey one? Or AKA, when you evolve into the tribal stage in Spore? Yeah, absolutely. Bum 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 bum. It was that. Um. No, actually, it was in what you say. It was uh, it was hide and seek by uh, Im Imogen Heap, the uh, you know, the Dear Sister song. Uh, the SNL, but they're parodying. What was it? The was it the OC? That song. Oh, it's Orangeman. Um, it's 104. Is that Epsilon? They call him Eps. Isn't that who sings that? Uh, hide and seek. Is it Emojin or Emojin? Or neither? Anyway, bye, Epsilon. So long, Eps. You died good while I was talking about. Fart music. I'm Ogen? I'm Ogen? Or Im Ogen? Because if you just capitalize I am, I still don't know the uh, the phonetics. No! <laughs> Nar! Is it Emoji Heap? <laughs> uh, well, I still don't know how to say e this band. Delta. E hey y'all, I'm Ogen. <laughs> mission accomplished. Mm, what'd you say? I did it. E Zeta. E Just Zeta and Beta. Beta. Location unknown. Yo, Sonic Adventure and Fallout New Vegas taught me Greek letters. Because the Legion had, uh, or no, the NCR actually used uh, Greek letters. Actually, no, they used the uh, the army, but some of them are Greek letters. Um, okay. The raft under the train station. Thank you, Just James. Uh oh, my Twitter's being linked. Is Dead Money still better than Remind? Yeah, I think so. That's true. <laughs> I haven't even played Fallout in a while, but it's on the brain. I mean, I played it within the last 365 days, but not in the past four or five months, for sure. I don't know if I could. The stream could probably not survive an entire New Vegas playthrough. But a one-off could be interesting. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Gelation. Um, apparently we get gelation again in uh the final episode. So, yeah, I totally fell off of TikTok. Well, when they said that it's probably gonna get banned, I was like, well, I guess I shouldn't really get invested in posting more TikToks, which again are just recuts of my Twitch clubs. So you're not missing anything. Um, Alright, let's get sheltered hotly. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Alright. Um, there's three TikToks on there, and I, I got to imagine that some of them are not even... I feel like my second one like has like double-digit views. Uh, oh, I'm, no, I'm not gonna find Facebook friends with TikTok. Absolutely not. No. Oh, thanks for following me, Jackie. Uh, no, not now. Okay, I have, like, 26 things in my inbox, but none of that is probably relevant at all. Okay, so, my first TikTok, 685 views, second one was 81, and the third one was 160. 
I got 46 followers on TikTok. Um, that's, that's probably the extent of it. Um, yeah, you're right, Ribbonfly. You're right. Um, I'm, I've been spoiled by having larger numbers on different platforms. Like, if I had 81 likes on a tweet pre-YouTube, I'd be over the moon. Um, unheard of for pre-2020 regular Pat, which I wasn't regular Pat, I was just Pat, to get 81 likes on something. Um, going to the hot shelter. Um, one viral TikTok post like two years ago, that's gotta be exciting though, because if you're, if you get a viral TikTok post, you're getting like crazy views. Like regular GF has coworkers that got like 2 million views on TikTok just for doing like a dumbass dance. Um, like they weren't funny, you know, they weren't really talented. It, it just like TikTok decided to show it to a bunch of people. And poor regular GF, she had to hear about her co-workers talk about it, you know, for days on end. I'm back in the Amy prison room. This isn't where I want to be, is it? Oh, okay, Gamma. Yeah, I thought so too, Frosty. Um, I was honestly like, I was nervous about getting it because I was like, well, the dopamine's going to be so good. Like, I'm just going to scroll forever. Like, oh... The toilet is the gateway, right? Like, you're going to be pooping, and you're, you'll go on TikTok um, to pass the time while you poop. And then you'll be, like, you know, laying in bed before you sleep on it. And just, like, defaulting to it when you don't know what else to do. But I really... It did not grab me in the way that I thought it would. Um, I don't think much of it really appeals to me. I thought... I thought I would be sucked in. But I really wasn't. I was shocked. Um... I much prefer watching TikToks by way of, like, laying next to regular GF while she watches it. And sort of just, you know, enjoying whatever good stuff happens to show up on her feed. Wow, is that not the slowest ladder climb? Do you know how long it would take for Snake Eater to play if Gamma were climbing the ladder? What a thrill with darkness and silence. Through the night, what a thrill. <laughs> Sorry, that bit went on for way long. Oh, and the itchy nose part of the stream is beginning now. That's cool. Um, that's what I was saying, Apollo, is that, you know, my motivation to uh, continue to try and, you know, spread my name on TikTok... It's been severely reduced because it's a dying medium, I think. I mean, who knows, right? Like, we hear that the government's going to do this, that, or the other, and then it's three years later, and we go, oh, what happened to that? Right? Like, remember how Daylight Savings was going to end? Everyone was like, this is the last Daylight Savings ever. That was, like, three Daylight Savings ago. What happened to that? You know? Some assholes in the Senate didn't decide to uh, put it through, or, you know, whatever. Can I just say, from, like, a political standpoint, though? Uh-oh, regular pass getting political on stream. But, like, what the fuck is Joe Biden thinking in an election year where it's pretty crucial to get young people to vote for your old wrinkly ass that you're gonna ban the young people app? That's, like, that's, like, where they live. It's not like, oh, young people tend to like this. It's, like, the marketplace. <laughs> like, it's, it is town square that you're just going to take a massive dump in, and you're going to ask those people to go and vote for you. What are you doing? Like, the fate of the nation, the fate of the world, <laughs> might depend on whether or not TikTok is banned. Because I could see plenty of 18 to 22-somethings being like, I'm not going to go vote for Joe Biden. He banned my favorite app. It, that's all it takes, <laughs> you know? That's all it takes for democracy to die. So... Also, I just need Taylor Swift to, to make an endorsement, because she could also single-handedly save democracy. Um, I don't know why she won't. Like, everyone already knows, you know, when she tells people to vote, we all know what that means. <laughs> you don't hear, go vote, from right-wing people. I'm sure everybody, I, I feel like all the uh, American politicians want TikTok on it. I guess it's a bipartisan thing that they all agree on. Um, which, like... 
I don't know, I'm not educated enough to speak on, like, you know, the whole thing with, with China getting data, like, as opposed to all the American companies that sell our data. You know, your data is getting sold regardless of whatever fucking platform you use. We're all already fucked. Might as well enjoy the cat videos, you know? Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Am I gonna blow up? Is it gonna go straight to my thighs? Take me away. You're right. Well... Did he just... What did he just say? Is this question? My beard? It's in the Ziploc underneath my bed. Or underneath my pillow. I did, like, five minutes ago. Um, activity ceased. Okay, I thought, he's, I thought he was gonna say, like, bibbity-bobbity. That's what it sounded like. It was like, bibbity... Wow, the precision! Could you please give me a lift? I'm jumping out of the claw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the claw! Alright, yeah, Gamma should take some lessons from the LGMs. I think Splash said that when uh, when men shave their beard, they look like LGMs afterwards. Is that what he said? Or something like that. Um, a new Taylor Swift look for us to play on April 19th. Is that a stream day? Let's see. April 19th. It's a Friday, so... You know. Shit out of luck, Vodka. <laughs> All right, get picked up by the crane again. I don't really stream on Fridays. That's like, even as a makeup day, I don't tend to... Oh, okay, I, I get it. No time left. No time like the present to get picked up by the fucking claw. What the fuck? Hmm. Oh, I wasted time. Oh, I didn't even realize the time's running out. I mean, I, I understood that time was running out, but I didn't realize, like, the main level time was running out. Um, okay. So I might just be... completely fucked. Oh. I was gonna say, just now, I was gonna say I might be 50 shades of fucked. Which is something that I've been saying, like, as a goof for the past almost 10 years. But then I found out that that is actually said in 50 Shades of Grey. Like, that's the moment where the title is kind of dropped. Because I watched it with regular GF. It was very funny. <laughs> it was, like, an extremely funny experience. Um, we watched Fifty Shades of Grey, and, like, three-fourths of the way through the movie, the guy, Mr. Grey, says, Because I'm Fifty Shades of Fucked Up. And I was like, what? I, I've been saying that. Yeah, so we're fucked, aren't we? We're Fifty Shades of Fucked. Whatever. Oh, it gave me an extra minute. Alright, cool. So yeah, I've been saying that thinking it was like a little goofy goof that I came up with. I mean, not came up with, but like, you know. I independently thought of it. But here, that's like the fucking title drop. So I felt really dumb. Yeah, I felt fucked raw and divine, which... Next you're gonna tell me they say that in the, in the sequel. Combos are worth more time. Thank you, T-Mac. I should've known. God, this is like the Uncharted train level. I just see a train, and I'm like, that's Uncharted too. I have the itchiest nose known to robot kind. Wow. Why did Eggman program me to itch? I can't love, I can't feel or eat, but I can itch? Oh, apparently I can still walk on this shit. Okay. God, I'm going through a bit of a mode change. Alright, I'm trying to focus so I don't have to redo all this shit. How far away am I from the end? It's just like Uncharted. <laughs> I'm on a moving train. Also, Ape Escape 3. That's the other moving train game. Yeah, give me seconds. Give me seconds. Oh, I'm fucked. What's happening? Oh, did I win? No! Dumbass. Ah! Well, I had, like, no time to gain points. Okay. Combo, combo, combo. I'm so fucked. No, Gamma! Gamma, you're fucking killing us! 
We're good, we're good. We're getting checkpoints. I feel like if I restart... Oh! I can't kill this thing in 8 seconds! It's E105 Squiggle! Oh, I should get a fucking time reset on the on the boss. Nutsack. So if I restart... So every time I restart, I get a minute. So I can kill the boss in a minute, right? Zeta, thank you. Alright. Uh-oh. Okay, don't lose your ring. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't lose your ring. Don't lose your ring, Gamma! Oh, you're done. You're done. Goodbye. Goodbye, Zeta. Uh-oh. Maybe not. There you go. Wow. What a Zeta male, am I right? Wow. Bye. I have to pee a lot. Oh, he was he was a measly peacock all along. Love it. Good shit. Good shit. SA1, let's go. 1672. Bad year. Bad year. I feel like not a lot was going on that was good. I wasn't there, but, you know, I learned about it briefly, I'm sure, at some point. All right. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. Um... I'll be right back. Hang tight.
Ah! And we're back. <laughs> Sorry about the, uh... I always forget the intro is gonna play again. Okay. I made another drink, that's why it took so long. Sorry. Uh, wow, I feel so much better. Um, so I just killed Zeta. Is it back to the... Deck? There was an ad for dog piss? So... That's... Hmm. I mean, I just said I had to pee. There is dog in the title of my stream. Barty, are you... Is it selling you dog piss? Or like... I think I need more information, really. Gamma. Gamma. That's me. Uh, Oathkeeper, thank you for the the three months in advance. Thank you so much. That's a lot of faith in me. That's an oath to Beta. keep. Appreciate it. There it is again for some reason. Maybe it happens thrice. I don't know. It was selling dog piss cleanup spray. Okay, Barty, that's very different. <laughs> that's very different than selling dog piss. You said there was a dog piss ad. That's... <laughs> That's like, it's a it's an ad for Raid, and you're like, they were selling ants. <laughs> they were selling ants and wasps. No, they weren't. They were selling the thing that, that kills the ants and wasps. It wasn't me, Den Den. Barty started it. Also, I guess I'm, I'm fighting the Mark II. The Mark II. Wait, is this an actual boss? Uh-oh. I think he might be an actual boss. I've got a measly two minutes and 40 seconds to kill him. I've yet to hit the fuck. He keeps slapping away my shots! Oh, okay. After he charges, hit him in his robot butt. It is really cool. I will say that. Let him charge. Go on. Go on, you fool. Die. To get that shit out of here. Fuck off. I really respect that. Uh oh. What is this, Zigbar? Look what I saved for you. Anytime I'm being shot at from another perspective. Oh, it's just like Zigbar. Or Razoth from uh, Rayman 3. I hope that hits for anybody. Which, if it does, I played that. If you're, if you're a big Rayman 3 head, I played that back in the summer of 2021. Maybe it was the spring. It was around there. Maybe the fall? I don't know. Does it matter? The season? No. Mode change. Mode change. Ooh. Wait, let me kill this robot and I'll tell you about a cool thing I found. Die. Um, so I found this. It's like a Wordle game, but it's for Spotify. I was playing with regular GF. Um, let me grab the link. I got today's guest, or today's artist, in three. Spottle! Um, it's fun if you're into music. Um, you basically just enter an artist and it gives you clues on how close you are. Did I say it's like Hurdle? You know, Wordle, Hurdle, whatever. It's an offshoot of that brand of game. Um, bye, Oathkeeper. Thank you again for the three months. That appreciate that. Um, there goes the Mark II. Oh! <laughs> Oh, uh, put him out of his misery. Um. No! It was a fake out! That was sus. Um. So, Vodka, type in Taylor Swift on on today's Spottle, and that'll actually give you a decent start. I'll, I'll give you a tip for. Girdle, how dare you! <laughs> Appropriate my culture. Was that the final boss? I just realized, is that it? I think it was. Uh oh. Right, because that was Beta Mark II. Well, <clears throat> good thing I don't have to fight a big water serpent in the city while I open my heart. Good thing I get to keep all my feelings to myself. I remember when I was a bird. It just fucked me up as a kid.
like 20 years ago. Lingered on that dead gamut shot for a while. <clears throat> Functions failing. Ooh. A little piano outro as I explode. This has no right to hit this hard. <laughs> It's like so tonally different <laughs> from the other the other endings. Which like is not a bad thing. Wow. They hardly even let you see the reunion of birds there. I wanna fly high. Somebody kill me. I wish that was the uh, credit song, but alas, only an instrumental. Um yeah, <laughs> imagine playing this right after Big. Foggy. Um, not quite vodka. We have to do the true ending, the secret episode. We gotta. We're gonna play a shadow in the dark world now. See, as a kid, I feel like the first time I played Sonic Adventure One, I played like most of the stories, but I probably didn't get through like. Either Biggs because it was annoying and difficult, or Amy's because Zero scared me. So, like, I never even really knew that there was a final story for, like, at least a couple of years. Um, ooh, nice, Nick. I got it in three, and my path was nuts. I started with the Gorillas because, you know, my favorite band, first time playing the game. And then I went to Paramore, and then I got it after that. How I did, I have no idea. Um, but it worked. So, regular GF also got it in 3, but she had a much better path than I did. Like, a much more logical path. <clears throat> and you can actually make... I have no idea. I think it's because it said the album was before the date that Paramore's first album was, and I was like, okay, uh, who was coming up around that time? <laughs> Which is, like, it still doesn't narrow it down a ton. I got very lucky. Um... But yeah. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Still a banger though. And you, you actually make custom games, so you can just like type in an artist and then it makes a game out of it for you and you can send it to people. So it was really fun. Um, regular GF stumped me with Mac Miller and I pseudo stumped her with LMFAO. Almost, Monty. I mean, I, I won this one. I still gotta be, I still gotta be super. I, I can't skip this, <laughs> so... This is the sixth credit sequence we'll watch. I don't really either, T-Mac, but... You know, like, you're familiar enough with, like, hearing names, you know? Um, or maybe, I could be wrong. Like, I couldn't tell you a single song by, like, Future, but I've heard of Future. Future was one of my guesses on the way to Mac Miller. Um... It was so frustrating. I started with like, I think I started with Elvis, and then I went to The Weeknd, <laughs> and then I went to Michael Jackson, and then I went to Bruno Mars, and I started to get closer there. And then I went to, I think, Kendrick, and then Future, and then I don't know what else, but then I, she gave me a hint and I got to Mac Miller. <laughs> When you walk away, somebody kill me! <laughs> um, but it only it only lets you uh, put in inputs from Spotify's top 1,000. So like, unfortunately, you can't do like like Shimamura, you know, which is upsetting. But I wish they would expand it. <clears throat> um. Anyway, God. These credits are taking longer than Gamma climbing a ladder. Cool, Sega Europe. Very cool. Anyway, if you need a good laugh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Great laugh flick. 
Um, if by have we talked about it, you mean like at all? Sorry, T Mac. Let me turn it down. My bad. It's been loud this whole time. Then. My bad. I apologize. Um. Woo. Oh yeah, yeah. If you once when you get the answer right, um, it plays a song from that artist, and it did jump scare me big time. Yeah. <laughs> Finn! There you go. They're together. So that's Gamma right there. The pink bird, that's Gamma. Correct? So really, it's fine. He's free now. As a child, I was upset because I thought Gamma was way cooler than a bird. But Gamma is the bird. So it's like, really, it's a happy story of emancipation, you know? Freedom from Eggman. Autonomy is granted to the birds. Now they can fly high and no one will kill them. Alright. Let's open our fucking chests so we can expose our hearts. So let's Supersonic. Yo, the first time I got this, I remember where I was. I was in my Nam's basement on a big, chunky TV. I think my parents were away and I was staying over and uh, I had my GameCube. And I had game facts up on my laptop or, or something. Because I didn't get Supersonic until I was like, maybe 11 or 12. Um, so wait. I said, yeah, I definitely didn't beat this 20 years ago. The, the, the tweet and Discord message might have been a lie. <laughs> I definitely first played this game 20 years ago, but I don't think I beat it until a good couple years after. But, you know, I was hyped when I saw Supersonic show up. Because this would be the first time I ever played as Supersonic. I never gotten to that point in any other Sonic game. This is like my first like real full Sonic game. Um, so this was exciting. All right, there's uh, the wreckage of the Tails Mobile. Of course, we did play as Super Sonic already on stream in SA2, where I flung myself at the big dumb lizard alien, which I hated. Angel Island's falling down. Angel Island's falling down, falling down, falling down. I, I'm, I feel dumb for asking, but the London Bridge is falling down nursery rhyme? That's not based on, like, <laughs> real events, is it? Did something happen to London Bridge in antiquity, or is that a fabrication? Because I know Ring Around the Rosie is about the Black Plague. Um, it's based on the song by Fergie. Yeah, ye old Fergalicious. Chaos! Um, I'm just gonna Google that. Maybe you'll you'll learn something with me today. London Bridge is falling down. Don't worry, I'm paying attention. Well, the first thing that comes up when you type in London Bridge is falling down is the Wiggles. But Angel Island is still falling. This doesn't make um, any sense. It deals with the dilapidation of London Bridge and attempts realistic or, fi or fanciful to repair it. It may date back to bridge-related rhymes and games of the late Middle Ages. So, I guess it's based on real events. Kind of. <clears throat> is that it? I guess that's a good question. Like, is that a nursery rhyme in the UK? Or is it... Because I always heard it growing up, but... You know, London Bridge ain't here. It's across the pond. You guys singing and dancing about your own bridges falling down? Is what? Yeah, okay, cool. Good to know. You guys got Ring Around the Rosie as well? I mean, Black Plague, way bigger of a thing over there than here. Um, at least I think. I don't think the Black... Yeah, the Black Plague was pre-Columbus, so... Pre Leaf Erickson, or maybe not. Leaf Erickson might predate the Black Plague. Yes, Jalation, <laughs> let's go. Maybe I'll take another vacation somewhere. This is very end of Spyro 2 coded. Hey there, Which Did you ooh, find the OG too? Sonic Adventure predates Spyro 2 by one year, I think. I think 98 for this, 99 for Spyro 2. Hey, 
Ain't no way. Ain't no way. That's way beyond cool. Was it Fuckles? Fuckles the Echidna? He doesn't chuckle, I hear. Alright, so Angel Island, is that minecart, James? Or is that, uh, past the ice cavern? I, I forget. Red Mountain area? Uh, so is that minecart or past the ice cave? <laughs> Hop in the car, okay. Fuckles the shit, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> When the bridge got taken down and rebuilt in Arizona, there's a David Hasselhoff movie where the bridge is haunted by the ghost of Jack the Ripper. It's like three things that happening in this message that... No, yeah, you're wrong. You're wrong, T-Mac. <laughs> Crossing the finish line back over to this side of the map. The yeah. Owls, is that a ship post? Is that like a copy pasta that you just put in chat? Or is that... What are you talking about? <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say. London Bridge got taken down and rebuilt in Arizona. No! No! Ugh, I didn't want to go in the wind hole. Wrong. Wrong area. Quit. Return to Adventure Field. Um, the Arizona part is at least real. Okay. Why Arizona? You're gonna, you're gonna take apart London Bridge and I assume fly or, or ship the parts over to the U.S. and you're gonna go all the way to Arizona? Why? That's like a very far distance. Um, I'm learning a lot. I feel like I somewhat knew that London Bridge or some bridge had to be taken apart and rebuilt somewhere else. Wait, no, 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 that... Ugh, fuck. That's the Chow Garden, isn't it? Yeah, you and me both, bucko. Sorry. We don't even have named Chows in the Mystic Ruins Garden. We, we have uh, B. Bussy, named after Barnabas, the in the Station Square Station one. Square will be departing soon. Where the fuck is the Ice Cap place? Oh, wait, that's the blown up. Uh, God damn, it, I was just there as Gamma. God, this is your brain on stream. And on dumb, honestly. I can't I can't fully blame the stream. I can blame it like 40 to 50%, but some of it's just dumb. Um, did I listen to the good looking by Dixon Dallas? I don't know what either of those things are, so no. Yeah, honestly, most of my brain cells I tend to store in my beard, so. Angel Island. It's over here. It's the one that looks like an island. Oh my god. No! no! Oh my god. Six spin, though. Six spin. Uh, Static. Static Nebulas. Great name. Thank you for the follow. It's a country song about Bee Bussy? What does that mean? I need further elaboration. This is like the 7.39 p.m. version of Barty telling me that they were selling cat piss during my commercials. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Country song about Bee Bussy. Knuckles and Eggman are just hanging out. Probably having a friendly chat. Near the Emerald. JK, JK. Near, nearby on Angel Island? Alright, where are they? They're both red as fuck, so they should stick out. But... How close will they render, is the question. I guess they're not here. Were they... Were they... Yo, KFC! On the edge of the island? At the edge of an island. Summertime. A good old American Psycho the Musical reference. I'll plug it till the day I die. Um, edge of the island. Oh, here? No, not that edge. God, this island is, is really edging us here. Near the stairs. Okay. God, the adventure field is so expansive and massive that I, I tend to get lost quite easily. Near the stairs. Near the stairs. 
Well, there aren't really any more stairs nearby. Unless you mean these stairs. I passed them? <laughs> Were they on screen? Daisy, how have you known me for as long as you've known me and you're just now figuring out that I am the world's number one American Psycho the Musical fan? I passed them? <laughs> I'm not throwing for content right now. I genuinely did not see them. Daisy, I never shut the fuck up about American Psycho the Musical. Walk away from the stairs. Oh, there they are! <laughs> and honestly, I accidentally ran into them here. Hide your hedgehogs, hide your battle brackets, hide your keyblade, I'm back! Mango, thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you so much. Daisy, I've ranked the soundtrack. I saw it live. It's the one Broadway musical I've ever seen. Chaos is still... We killed Chaos 8, or 7, or 6, or whatever. Yes, and he's musical. Dang, man, wait up. We were gonna invite you out for coffee. We just want to be friends. We want to talk about science. I did. Um, I've probably told this story several times on stream, so apologies for anyone in the in the backlog. But my very gay friend from high school, the biggest Swifty that I know, she invited me to see American Psycho the musical. <laughs> um, so it was really fun. This place. Navaka, Navaka. It looks familiar. I say, uh, the biggest Swifty I know. After all. Um, I think Vaka would be second, but she was the, she was the biggest. Um, it was a good time. Mango, to be honest, I, I felt a disturbance in the force. I was like, why aren't I being harassed and harangued? With these nuts formatted jokes. Um, that's okay, Daisy. You must have missed at least seven occasions of it, though. That's pretty funny. You've, like, dodged raindrops in a rainstorm. Bah! Bah, I say. I'm King Triton, and you're Ariel. You're dumb. I'm an old man, so I'm smart. And then... They killed all the Chows. T call fell. She got dirt on her face. You big disgrace. That's very funny. Um, one of like the most immersive, memorable, like entertainment experiences for me was that opening number of American Psycho the Musical. Um, which the name escapes me. What it's actually called. Um, so I guess I'm not the biggest stan, but... They're, uh, they're burning them. Well, here we are, burning. <laughs> He's just a little water guy. You can probably just, like, vacuum him up. Here's a dark chow murder backstory. Hey, are you alright? Hey, are you alright? I'm I'm worse now. Just give me something for the pain and let me die. Give me milk of the poppy. <laughs> That's a T call Baratheon joke. Not the chow. Yeah, I guess the it's not it's not him doing the morning routine. I know what you're talking about, but it's it's like the song that immediately follows. Um, the one that goes, uh-oh, 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 that one. Um, which might be my number one song. I'll have to pull up my Google Sheet. Right, the emeralds. Pew! Mm. Yes, yes it is. Selling out. Yep. Thank Sonic, you. Wake up. Um, God, it's so good. Uh, uh I was on a snooze cruise. I, I don't get like obviously there's probably more artful stuff out there, okay. but just visually it was so out there. mystifying and Knuckles entrancing and, and the songs were I thought really Come. good and we gotta go after the you know, last emerald. I still haven't even uh, seen the way. I don't think I've seen all of the movie. Too. 
I definitely saw the musical before I saw the movie or read the book. The tornado too! So the Tales Workshop. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, no! Nah! No! Nah! Okay. Um. And just so everyone knows, I'm not one of those, like, weird guys who, like, idolizes Patrick Bateman, okay? Even though we share the same name, and we're both 27, did you know that? Paul. Um, I'm not, like, one of those. Because there are, like, people who watch movies like American Psycho, and they completely miss the point, <laughs> you know? Where they're like, oh, right, so I should be like Patrick Bateman. No, it, God, no, that's, I guess it's not, we're not going? Okay, we're going to the jungle. Sorry. There's gonna be people in the VOD like, why is he talking about American Psycho and not listening to the plot? And that's a great question. That is a great question, and I wish I could answer it. Truth is, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not a, a good entertainer. Big's house, okay. Oh, okay, Look, we're here. It's the tornado too! Nice. Yeah, so let's get the Chaos Emerald and leave. That's funny, Jackie. What? Um, no. Yeah, that's crazy. He's got the last Emerald. Now what do we do? Now what do we do? Somebody kill me! Do we get to hear it at least one more time? We're probably done with that, right? I feel like all of the big Tails moments have passed. You don't know what you got till it's gone. As John Mayor once said. As opposed to John Ma Menor. I believe that's Spanish for major and minor. Could be wrong. Took that language for seven plus years. Ew, it's a Station Square poopy water. Oh, that is gonna cause so much infrastructural damage. Fuck all this, I just remembered, so... I had a morbid curiosity earlier this morning. I looked up, like, whatever happened to uh, The Walking Dead? Like, how did that end? It went for 11 seasons, I kind of stopped watching it... ...before probably the last two or so. And there's like five fucking spin-offs... ...of that. It just- it says I have zero viewers. Am I not here anymore? Oh, okay, we went offline for a bit. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. We good? Are we still here? Um, chat is in different spots. We're alive? Okay. We went offline for like an hour? That makes sense. I feel bad. You missed all of the, uh... What was the last thing that I said? What, what do you remember me saying? Ah! Ooh. Um, it's Sin! <laughs> Our family's in Kilika. Forgive us, Lady Summoner. Absolutely the fuck not. Turn the boat around. I'm the most important person on the boat. Not your unnamed Kilikan families. Um, the last thing I said was save on people. Tail saying it's the tornado too. That was a long time ago. Um... Well, I was talking about all the Station Square poopy water that's going to cause infrastructural damage. Oh, I was on this tangent about The Walking Dead. I can't hear you. Your mustache is too big. Chaos, you're <laughs> you're melting through the building, bud. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, I had a morbid curiosity about The Walking Dead. Because I was, I was saying that... I watched, like, almost all of it, but I think I dropped off, like, the last two seasons. That show went for 11 seasons, and there are, I shit you not, five spinoffs of The Walking Dead. That show used to be so good. I, I used to love The Walking Dead, and it, it just turned into, like, this fucking parody of itself. 11, yes, fuck, I'm not kidding. 11 seasons of the original show and five spinoffs. You got Fear of the Walking Dead, which ran concurrent with the original. You got a Daryl show where he goes to France. A Maggie and Negan show, a, and a Rick and Michonne show, and I think another one that I can't remember. So, ha like, how? It was huge when I was in high school. My heart has always I look forward to it dearly every Sunday or whatever. Now he's filled with anger and sadness. Um, and they really blew and it. Go 
Scott Gimple. I still know his name. Pisses me off. Chaos is cool, though. Spooky. Um, honestly, I liked it up until, like... I would say even, like, season 6 or 7. Like, they were, it, it got really dumb before then, but, like, I was still like, alright, I'm still gonna see it through. By the time you get to, like, 8, it gets really tough. But, like, peak Walking Dead is, like, 3 to 6, I think. Um, I mean, honestly, the first season was great. Honestly, like, 1 to 6, I'd even give it. Um, yeah, it, it was enjoyably dumb, but then it got, like, too dumb and too frustrating and too boring. And they made some really bad decisions with, like, what characters to kill off. Don't worry. I can one-hit kill him with my fishing pole. Hey, Sonic! Uh-oh. Amy. Amy, the power of stalking Here, can't defeat hey, Chaos. Oh, great. One of the seven dumb emeralds that doesn't work. Hey, guys, what's up? Been drained of life. Chaos only hey, guys, what's up? Power of the emeralds. Oh, we can use the positive ions. Sonic, you should be able to harness their real power. The opposite of negative, as much real. As I hate to admit it, I think Tails <laughs> is right about this. As much as I hate to give this little shit any semblance of credit, he's correct. The fans from Olympus? They believe in me. Listen to my adoring fans. As much as I hate to admit it, this asshole might have a point. I'm getting like stadium fucking We Will Rock You cheers right now. Thunder, rain, lightning, danger, water's rising. Oh boy, it is a little KH, isn't it? Maybe I should not make fun. Yeah, we're gonna power up and kill God. Because they were selling dog piss during my commercial and Sonic bought it. Perfect chaos. Here we go. <laughs> Fuck yeah, listen, this is still sick. This is still peak. I mean, look, look at this. The city's flooded. Ooh! I think you just gotta charge into him, right? Yeah. You fucking do a little pinball up his throat. <laughs> yeah, this is a Cage 4 trailer. It's Watery Dark Side, Mark 2. Yeah, Crush 40. Crush 40 was so powerful, they crushed Crushes 1 through 39. Absorbed all of their power, became perfect Crush. Boom. Boom. You fucking invade Chaos's body, you fucking slither up his large intestine, and exit his mouth, and that causes him bodily harm. And I think I have to do that one more time, and that's it. And then this is over. Which is sad, because... I would like to do this for longer, actually. Like, we're not even gonna get through the whole song. That's it? That's it? Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> It's a one-way track. Oh. <laughs> Sonic is my GERD. You're so right. That's how the GERD gets me. It travels through my intestines and exits through my mouth and causes me bodily harm and verbal embarrassment. Wait, no more open your heart? Cringe. <laughs> Ow, my head. Oh. Uh-oh. We're getting fire blasted. All right. No more fucking around. Let's get back up in those chaos guts. Yeah, I said what I said. I said it. Why would they should have had this song play first and then go to open your heart? Who's gonna remember this generic ass song? Oh, I biffed it. Tails, I biffed it. Well, I guess that's it. I guess Chaos wins. Somebody kill me! Okay, maybe that was scripted. That was supposed to happen. Okay, I gotta build up speed. Right, that's my whole thing. Sonic speed! Ha! Ah! Okay, well... Okay. 
Okay. Surely this will be fast enough. I'm getting big Keebly Graveyard vibes. Multiple tornadoes. Okay. Well, I have a feeling I'm not exactly working at top speed right now. Oh, that really... That really just sort of withered out. Oh. Oh, okay, I need rings. I need rings. Let's do that. God, this song is such a... such a nothing. No! 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 Alright. Oh! Well, I said I wanted to open your heart again. And boy, did I fucking get it. Nar! Okay. Well, that's what you call a monkey's paw moment. Wow, wow. Wow. We'll just do the cool part again. Which, honestly, fine, you know? Didn't really even get my fill of that. My philoctetes. Ugh. Shadows, dark creatures, foreshadowing? Shadow the Hedgehog? Wow. Another deep Sonic moment. So prescient. Watch out for the chaos laser. Hit him through the chaos hole. Boom. What do we do? Um. Make liberal use of the dash panels. Okay, okay, liberals, let's do it. <laughs> use the dash panels. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, Mango, one sec, one sec. I'm going supersonic speed right now, as you can see, really fast. Um, thank you for the 100 bits. Do you like Final Fantasy games? The early titles were a little... Oh, okay, this is, uh... <laughs> it's Mango, so I'm like... <laughs> hey, Paul. Do you like Final Fantasy games? The early titles were a little too new wave for my taste, but when FF5 came out in 92, they really came into their, their own, both gameplay and story-wise. The whole game has crisp, clean graphics, and a whole sheen of consummate professionalism, which really gives the whole game a big boost. Hey, Paul! <laughs> Try getting a reservation at 7th Heaven now, you fuck! You stupid fucking bastard! Ah! It's hip to be Square Enix, it's right there. Fuck! Uh, I used to be an avalanche. I used to fool around. Okay, I'm blue. That's my attack. <laughs> yeah, we're off the rails. We're off the rings. We're off the rails. Whatever. Okay. I'm making jokes for like a very specific middle of the Venn diagram. <laughs> I'll just do the cool part over and fucking over. Yeah, only 10 lives left. I think I'll be alright. I bet I first tried this as a kid. <laughs> Good. Listen, you don't have to get it, as long as you're laughing. As long as you're entertained. You don't even have to laugh. Just be content with with me in your ears as you're doing some chore or doing something else in a different tab. That's all that matters to me. Is that you're comforted, that you're entertained slightly. Maybe even Cubby. No promises. Alright. Alright. One more chaos hole for the first phase. Gotta keep in mind that my rings deplete. Yeah, I'm the Goblin Jester. Listen, I would never make fun of the Gallbladder fan base. Those are my people. We were born by the G Bladder, we die by the G Bladder. I don't know what that means, but. Boom. <laughs> it's hip to fuck bees. I know exactly what you're talking about. Is that a silver gunner? Or is that something else? A Siva gunner. Siva gunna. Um, no, it's that R slash gallbladder is for haters of the organ. Mini vine sauce. I had no idea. I know it from the uh, the Siva gunner remix. All right, come on, rings and dash panels. That's what we need. Here we go, here we go. That's plenty of speed. Ha <laughs> ha! Remember kids, do speed. I mean, well, you know, build up speed. Build up a, a steady supply of speed and utilize it at a, at a healthy pace. That's 
That's what I Sonic says. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Watch out for the cars. Watch out for the fire. Oh, oopsie fucking daisy. There goes all my speed. And I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking lose again. I'm gonna run out of fucking rings. Cause where am I gonna get the replacements? Build up a tolerance for speed. Alright, I, I really need to focus on more rings. Because if I if I am not able to keep my momentum. Here we go, here we go. Alright. Okay, I missed that entire stretch of them. Okay, I'll we'll just. Here we go, there we go. Do they respawn or will they eventually run out if I keep fucking up? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Alright. Definitely still need more rings, but one more hit. What's up, Ruthie? As you can see, it's a wonderful dream come true for Station Square. We're here to kill chaos. Remember? Like, like the stranger of the paradise. Alright, I got, I got 31 fucking rings. Here we go, here we go. Oh, you're so... Damn it, I accidentally rubbed up against the building. No, I'm still going fast enough. You're done, you're done, you're done. Oh, no! Come on, Sonic! Sonic! Alright. That's okay. That's okay. No! Nah! We can do it, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Just get the rings. Get some insurance rings. Probably a couple more if you can. If you can. If you can, thank you, Sonic. Alright, can we do it? Can we do it? Here we go. Fucking rub the building again! I gotta make it to him so I can get back to some rings. Fuck. I gotta stay away. I gotta, I gotta lean left or center. You know? Because I keep touching that building. Yeah. Alright, alright. Get rings, for the love of God, get rings. Oh my god, that is not enough rings. Oh my god, you're missing all the rings. Do or die, here we fucking go! Here we go, baby! <laughs> oh, I've opened my heart. I did it. Come, open your heart. Ansem said it, he knew. I am the superest of Sonics. Hey, what are you talking about, Sonic? You gonna play with Chaos some other time? You're talking to me. Because I'm not playing another Sonic game for the rest of 2024, I'll tell you that. Flashback or flash forward to... Hello VOD people, here we are with part one of Sonic Heroes. I don't know what else to do on Saturdays, so... We're doing this. This should help. And then flash forward again to... Alright VOD people, here we are with Shadow the Hedgehog. Um... T-Mac, thank you so much for the... Dab, 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 dab. Are they saying dada? -da? You're our dad. Boogie, woogie, woogie. T-Mac, thank you for the five gift subs. 31 total. Shroomy, Bloomy, Tragodile, Darkness Mist, Mike Loves yeah. Rabbit, and Swarles Barkley. So it's nice are you talking about me? I'm right here. T-Mac, thank you. These are the chow you were Carly, I think we're saving PJ Sam 3 for uh, our Thanksgiving special. Because it's a food game. Unlike T-Call. Sorry, that was rude. That was rude. She died for her cause, you know? I watched her. I watched the light dim from her eyes, and here I am, here I am, making goofs about it. A group of chows is called a, a chaos. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm pretty sure that's what uh, Darwin said. You're welcome, T-Call. I guess, like, fuck Big and Amy, right? Like... They don't get to be part of the the crew here. And Gamma's dead, but well, he's not dead. He's a bird. Same thing. Um. Wow. Ready, friend. There goes Ericus and Xehanort. I think Chaos got off too easy. You know. You're just you're gonna hand Sonic the the secret rings and be like, okay, uh, sorry, I guess. Sorry I ruined the city. And you're gonna get to float up to heaven with your boyfriend? Floggy! 
please All's look. Well that ends well, right? I guess so. Sonic? That is way past cool. Look at the fucking heavens opening up. <laughs> Tails, the city is destroyed. Our shit is trashed. <laughs> It doesn't matter if the city is trashed. Alright. Fuck you, Tails! Millions are dead! I don't know, like, just the water damage alone will set this city back possibly two to three decades. We did it, Patrick. We saved this city. <laughs> it matters quite a lot. Uh, one more open your heart for the road. <laughs> Uh, Tails, just because you want somebody to kill you doesn't mean all those people wanted to die. Oh, I, I just thought, I thought we were all on the same page with the whole, uh, you know, somebody kill me. No, that's, it's just you. <laughs> that's just you. Uh, I hate to say it, but Sonic's right. Well, we did it. One more Sonic game. In the bag, baby. Put to bed. Shout out to Just James for playing this for me. Uh, I was just acting as James, uh, you know, delivered the inputs. Thank you to James. Um, as I said at the top of the book it, I don't know what the next Saturday game is. Could be Sly 4, might be a holdover with like a one-off game. Thing is, it's not going to happen for a little bit. So here's my upcoming schedule. Um, this is going to be an early stream, I guess. I would do another uh, book it, but... I feel like I've already taken enough attention away from the March Caprice schedule. We'll raid March Caprice at the end of this. Or I guess, you know what, we should raid... Can I get a link to... If anybody could, if you could grab the March Caprice schedule and give me a link to whoever is streaming right now on the schedule. And we'll raid that person. But I just want to... Well, before we do that, let me tell you my schedule. So tomorrow I will be here at 6pm. We'll be doing a KH Blook It delivered to me from the March Caprice staff. I'll be running that. I will also be running KH Scriblio. That'll be viewer viewer participation, so you can hop on, draw some KH stuff, guess some KH prompts. Um, it's a very fun time. Go check out the second channel if you haven't seen it before. It's whale? Okay, perfect. Um, and then on Thursday, I will be doing at 6 p.m. the regular Pat Sound Drop Bracket Mark II, um, the final bracket of bracket season. I'm going to have a form. Um, if you're not on the Discord, join the Discord. There'll be a link there. You can submit whatever sound drop you think should be on my my board here. You know, like Kay. the likes of cake hello. and hello. Now that's just plain that's just plain room rude. rude. Last year's winner. I'm a fool. <laughs> I'm a fool. Um, and then there will not be a Saturday stream this week. And then I will be away the following week for my anniversary vacation. So there will be no stream on the second, the fourth, and probably not the sixth. Um, so I'm gonna be away for a bit, but I'll see you at least twice more, and then my video is actually premiering on Friday the 29th at 11.30 p.m. Um, so there's a lot of me, and then there's gonna be none of me for a bit. But I will, uh, I'll keep you updated on what's happening as we get closer to those relevant dates. But thank you for hanging out with me tonight and for this playthrough. Um, I had a lot of fun tonight. It's definitely a more fun time than fishing as Big the Cat. That was probably the valley of the of the playthrough. This felt like a high point. If you're a Sonic fan, you probably hated it because I talked over the really, you know, consequential moments. But I feel like it's more about the feeling that you get when you're super Sonicing through the ruins of Station Square. And I felt great. It's it's still peak. It's still peak Sonic. So, all right. Um, I'll see you Tuesday at six, Thursday at six. And then my premiere Friday at 11.30. And we're going to raid my good friend Preferred Whale. So let me get that set up. I'll take it to the outro for a second. Um, but let me get the raid going here. And Whale's doing some KH-themed Jackbox. So let's go spread the March Caprice love. And I will see you when I see you. Be safe, be kind, be courteous, take it easy. Bye!